Hello everyone, just a little walk through for you today. Now this is not one of my designs, this is another one designed by Carl Summers and it was a live class in her Paper Scissors Story Facebook group but I know that by now the video for this has actually gone up onto YouTube so I'll link to the YouTube video below if you'd like to make your own version. So this was one of her 6x6 Sunday projects and I've used different papers. I've used the Amazonia ones by Stamperia. So I just used the one 8x8 pad to make this. But I did add, because I had some leftover from my previous Amazonia projects, some of the chipboard embellishments. Because Cal does like to add some charms on. So I just coloured the back with an alcohol pen and added them on a little ring. And the one Carl did actually had um, soft spines, but I've built it all up and then worked out how thick a spine I needed. So I've actually got chipboard beneath the mine, in mine. I just decorated the back, just with a little leftover strip there. So I didn't cover the back just to save on some of the papers. And it's a cute little mini, didn't take long to make either. And it just flips open charms out the way. So I've tried to get some uh, of the pattern repeating down. So when it's shut you see the lovely sloth and some of this tribal fringing at the bottom. But when you open it it reveals the uh, crocodile or alligator. I don't know how to tell the difference. And then it opens up again. So it wraps up as a three like so. And then when you open it, you get this lovely jaguar image there. And let's start on the bottom one. I'm going to have to fold it up because it, it's a bit long for the camera. So this one, I've got the little toucan there. And if I was to do this again, I'd probably add a little quarter of an inch onto this. Then I'd have a nice um, placement there for six by four photos because it's four and a quarter by six, this flap. And if it was six and a quarter, I'd just then be able to stick a photo and have the little border from the papers. So oh, if you saw, we had a little slide closure. So it could slide from one side to the other. And as soon as it slides there, you've got a little flip to the left. A nice little photo space there. And then it revealed this nice bright colour underneath and flips to the right. So this isn't a belly band because this slides um, as the closure. But in the centre then, I've cut up all those little uh, journal cards from the 8x8 pad, which I can fill in here. So let's keep some of these out in case we find other places we can tuck a little journal card or photo into. So I just close it then, that way, and slide it shut. And now we get to that center. In my spot already, the Jaguar moved. So as you slide this off, it's actually a little photo card. And I've made it so that the macaw um, is a pattern repeat or a pattern continuation and then Cal kept his flat I added one of those little journal cards just by putting some L-shape glue there or reverse L-shape this time so that I can tuck things behind so that's just come from the inside cover just fussy cut it placed on some black cardstock and then again space on the back for more photos but what this acts is a closure for this gatefold so when I put it in these gatefolds don't open so you open it up you can see that slide it out and you've got more tuck space here if you wanted to put something behind or in front of that notelet that came out and then it opens up and I've made more little tuck spaces 
I've cut out those inside cover pieces again onto some black cardstock and a little tag as well. So you've got spaces there, spaces inside, and then right in the middle, you've got a nice big pocket. I've used one of my uh, new creations, which I'm using quite a bit right now. And I think I'll have to show you how I make them one day. These are my swivel dies from uh, Cool Cats Crafts with the folio die ones as well. So you get a nice raised swivel, which means it locks over your flap nicely. And then you can open it up. And again, I've gone for some pattern continuation all the way down the inside of the pocket. So when it's closed, you don't really see the map, but once you open it up, I've got the full map of Africa there. Oh, sorry, South America. The, it's not the Savannah ones, is it? It's the Amazonia this time. So there we go. Close this up. Close those gate folds. A nice sliding pocket. Oh, so the inside pocket actually measures um, about four and a half inches. So you can put your six by four photos in there. So again, you could even slide this inside if you wanted those diagonal pockets to show. You can add some more inside there. And it closes up and tucks up nicely. You might have had a clink because I did add some magnets onto that one. So this is the, I think she called it the Mice Album. And I said one of Carl Summers's six by six um, Sunday projects. So she does, I think once a month, and they're really good for using your smaller pads. So make sure you have a look in the description below for the link to her Facebook group. And I'll add a link to her um, YouTube video for this one. So yeah, a nice little project. Oh, and I did forgot to say, it's actually got a lovely, um, like a concertina hinge. So whereas I've always just done straight hinges, these ones are like a rolled hinge. So that's something new I haven't tried before. Like so, if I bring it closely, you'll see. So head over, give Cal a little follow. She really does come up with some amazing stuff. And I'll see you all again soon with another project. Thanks for stopping by and happy crafting.